First of all, Rand Paul shouldn't even be on this stage. He's number 11. He's got 1% in the polls. And how he got up here, there's far too many people anyway. I'm also aware of that California has a drought. And so that's why I made sure I brought my own water. <laughs> What I am far and away greater than an entertainer is a businessman. We're not talking about real issues. And, and Mr. Trump, we don't need an apprentice in the White House. We don't need an apprentice in the White House. We have one right now. I, in no way, am willing to get in the bed with special interest groups or lick the boots of billionaires. And I got along with everybody. Yeah. That was my job, to get along with people. But the I simple didn't wanna, fact is... Excuse me. One second. No. I the didn't want to... Yeah, Donald, oh, you good. cannot take... More energy tonight. I like no. that. They have sponsored terrorist groups, Hamas and Hezbollah, and they threaten the very essence of Western civilization. Every time we've toppled a secular dictator, we've gotten chaos, the rise of radical Islam, and we're more at risk. So I think we need to think before we act and know that most interventions, if not a lot of them in the Middle East, have actually backfired on us. I, I, I thought that everybody here passed ninth grade civics. The courts cannot legislate. I think women all over this country heard very clearly what Mr. Trump said. I think she's got a beautiful face, and I think she's a beautiful woman. Let's ask Hillary Clinton. She believes in the systematic murder of children in the womb to preserve but their body parts, Dana, in a way that maximizes their value for sale for profit. Iran and Planned Parenthood. One has something to do with the defense of the security of this nation. The other has something to do with the defense of the character of this nation. I want to build a wall, a wall that works. Immigration did not come up in 2016 because Mr. Trump brought it up. We have been talking about it for 25 years. This is a country where we speak English, not Spanish. Well, I'm, I've been speaking English here tonight. Let's just stop for a second. There's one person on this stage that does have a record. Mrs. Clinton is going to have to defend her track record, her track record of lying about her emails, about lying about her servers. I am the only person on this dais, the only person that fought very, very hard against us, and I wasn't a sitting politician, going into Iraq. As it relates to my brother, there's one thing I know for sure, he kept us safe. I don't know if you remember <laughs> Donald. We could see how many people smoked pot in high school. Is there somebody you were specifically thinking of? Well, you know, the thing he is... He was talking that, about me. Yeah. 40 years ago, I smoked marijuana, uh, and I admit it. I'm sure that other people might have done it and may not want to say it in front of 25 million people. My mom's not happy that I just did. Dr. Carson, you just heard his medical take. <laughs> He's an okay doctor.